so your little one is teething they're not getting much sleep you're not getting much sleep they're in pain you don't know what to do <gasps> I've got you. If you want tips, tricks, and hacks of how to soothe your little ones whilst they're going through the teething stage, continue to watch this video because I've got so many ideas in store for you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's talk about teething items. Now the teething stage in babies could be really painful and really uncomfortable for them. And also for you as the parent, caring mother or father, it might be stressful for you to actually comfort them in the best way possible because you can't stand to see your little one in pain. I feel you because I'm currently going through that stage right now and I've got some amazing items that I want to show you that could help your baby. Now the first tip I want to give you guys is to get on top of the teething stage as soon as you see the first sign that your child is actually teething. So so these signs could include lots of drooling, blowing raspberries like this, or that's a good sign that they're teething. If you see that they're chewing things a lot, maybe chewing their, their clothing or just chewing their hands or their fingers or trying to bite things, that's another sign that they could be teething. Swollen gums, changes in their eating habits, perhaps they're not eating as much as they usually do or drinking as much milk. Right, so let's talk about the remedies. Rem teething gel. Now the teething gel that I have is the Teether Teething Gel and this is really good. I actually bought this one on Amazon. You can use this from three months old. Make sure your hands are clean before you apply this and then you can just put, apply it on their gums, especially where you see that their gums are swollen or when you see like the, the teeth starting to cut through or come through, then that's when you can apply it on their gums. So this gives like a nice cooling and numbing effect and that's amazing. I've got another one here to show you and this one is from Ashton and Parsons. So that's a teething gel. I actually bought this one from Amazon as well. So yeah, that's what that looks like. It forms a barrier to help relieve teeth and pain. Um, this is lactose and sugar free. So that's a lovely alternative to use if you didn't want to use the teether gel. Teething granules. I love this stuff. I feel like this works really well. And I don't know why, because I actually tried this on myself and it, it actually doesn't really taste of much. It tastes slightly sweet, but it doesn't, obviously I'm an adult, so I don't think it's gonna do anything for me, um, but it just doesn't taste of much, but it does wonders for babies. This is just like a miracle worker. So granules actually dissolve in the mouth. I know some people actually rub the granules on the areas, like the swollen areas. I did this once and it was very messy and it was very difficult to get my baby to stay still. <laughs> so I just apply it on the tongue and then just leave it there and then, then it just dissolves and it works perfectly. So um, that tends to soothe my Oh, there's she. There's she, darling. That tends to soothe all of my babies, by the way, very well. I'm just gonna get an example. So this is what it looks like here. It comes in packs of four, so you can just rip it off and easily apply it on their tongue. I'm sure some of you may have seen this. Sophie the giraffe. This works really well. Now, there are different types of this. You can get the really tall ones, which are good for older babies, maybe from six months onwards, I like this because it's quite small. It's got two handles, so it's so easy for my little one to grab. So I bought this for her when she was about two months old and that worked really well. She was still quite young to grab it, but it was much easier for her to like grab hold of this than it was for her to grab the taller version of this. So this is really good. That's what it looks like. She loves biting into this. This is safe to use. Obviously, you know, it bends. I would say sterilize this every day if you can. At the end of every day, I just pop it in my sterilizer and then, um, you know, it's ready for the next morning to give to her. So I've got a, quite a few different types and it really depends on what your baby likes. But my baby actually prefers this one better because it's easier for her to hold. Um, but she likes to use this because of the different sizes of these shapes. So if you could just see, that's what it looks like and it's colorful. She's making all of this noise because she actually wants the giraffe. This is so good. I don't know what to call this. I would call it a baby apple toothbrush. That's what I would call this. But obviously it looks like an apple. It's in the shape of an apple. And it's got like a little soft um, toothbrush head like kind of thing on top of it, which is really nice. Now, this is amazing for younger babies. So babies from about say two months old um, that are able to start to like grab hold of things. This is so easy for them to hold. So it's actually got these soft bristles on on there which you can see and this actually helps to massage the gums so at times if i see my baby struggling i would just put this in her mouth and uh, you know just use it as if i'm brushing her teeth just to help massage the gums and up on top there and at the bottom like and she loves it she really loves this 
I really like this. This is probably one of her favorite teethers. Now it's so good for small hands. So she's able to put her small tiny baby hands in this and grab hold of it. So it's really good for like coordination. It's really good for their like gross and fine motor skills just to get them used to holding and gripping onto things. So this is really good. And it's got a lovely support in there because she gets to hold the handle. Um, I'm going to see if I can get a picture of her holding this just so you can see it in action and just see what it looks like. She likes to put the little ends in her mouth and that bit which also helps to massage her gums it really is an amazing pain relief you you probably wouldn't think it it doesn't look like it would do much but it does a lot you can't go wrong with these she wants the remote control as well in a minute darling it's soft it's big it's got different shapes on it it's easy for them to hold and it just resembles a real remote control and they just love playing with things like this so yeah that's another good buy so i've got a little pink monkey and it's got like three different handles on there for babies now this is another teether which i love and i think it's quite a clever invention actually because you can actually pop this part in the fridge or in the freezer this helps to numb the gums and numbs the pain i bought this one from amazon i'm going to link all of the details of all of these teethers down below just so you can see where to get them from most of them are from from Amazon because that's my go-to for quite a few things baby related um I like the fact that it's got like a little clip part here so you can actually clip this to their outfit okay and it's very safe and look it just stays on you know look it stays on it's it's easy for them to like find and hold like if they lose it because you know sometimes when they're you know they've got a teether in their mouth and then they lose it and obviously they're quite small babies and it's hard for them to like start searching for their teether but with this it's a bit easier for them to find it because they know it's attached to their to their body or to their outfit so this is great this is a lovely buy so another thing you can use to soothe your teething baby is just pain relief. Now it sounds like common sense, but it's so easy to forget that you can actually give them cowpaw or pain relief or some sort of like liquid medication just to help them cope with the pain. So there's cowpaw here and you could give them Nurofen as well. Obviously just check to see if your baby is the appropriate age to give to them. Another tip that you can do to soothe your teething babies is to give them something sweet. If you know that they love apples or fruits, I have Ella's Kitchen. This works really well for my baby when she's teething. This is quite sweet. It's got apples, um, mangoes, coconut milk, um, orange juice, and a little bit like a dash of lemon juice in there. So this is really nice and that helps to soothe my baby when she's teething. She loves this stuff. So it just helps to distract them from the pain that they're actually going through. And another tip is lots of cuddles. Don't forget to give your child or your baby lots of cuddles, lots of kisses, lots of just like warm embrace, just to comfort them when they're in pain, when they're teething. And the final teething trick, which I really wanna share with you that has worked really well, and I've only just discovered this if I'm honest with you. Yeah, I think she's agreeing with me is this this is i don't know what to call this but it makes a lovely crunchy sound which babies absolutely adore i don't know why they love this sound but most babies tend to really love this um it's got teething rings on this it's really small this is really good for the teething process so it's waterproof as well which is amazing um it's very bright it's colorful it's got the flaps on it as you can see my oh she's getting excited now but my baby loves to play with this and she loves to put this in her mouth and like chew and bite so guys we've come to the end of this video now i really hope that you've enjoyed it and i hope you found some really helpful remedies and tips for your teething baby so don't forget to subscribe if you want some more tips and hacks on babies on mum life and just parenting in general thank you guys again for watching see you in my next video bye